It is impossible to discuss sustainability without addressing a temporality. We aim to design things that can exist outside of time. This quote was taken from co-founder, principal designer of acronym Erickson Hughes Instagram post. I found it to be an interesting quote because I think it sums up quite a lot and relates to how I look at things when I'm talking about minimalism in fashion. Obviously, the quote is related more towards sustainability in fashion, but I think it can be applied into minimalism as well. A temporality or a temporal simply means something that is independent of or unaffected by time. If you look at it in a fashion sense, it's about pieces that will never go out of style or something they can wear on a daily basis. To that, we tend to gravitate towards pieces that are simple and basic. Some examples could be t-shirts, handies, dress shirts, slim fit jeans, and chinos. More often times than not, I would say it's because these are the safest pieces that you can get. From a minimalism perspective, it's actually all that you need. Having said that, for me, a temporality in fashion is more about knowing and finding what your personal style is. Because personal styling is all about how someone chooses to express their individuality and interests through clothing. It is something that's able to withstand time and doesn't conform to the latest trends or styles. Sure, your style might be the current trend right now, but once it's past that, it still sticks around with you because it's part of who you are. That is why I feel that personal style is something that is a temporal. And once you can establish a style of your own, you don't have to follow and conform to traditional minimalist way of dressing. What's up guys, Rui here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about how having a personal style helped me to be a more minimal person. I decided to do this video to kind of show you that you can actually dress in any style that you like and it's not all just about wearing basic pieces when it comes to minimalist fashion. Granted, if that's how you look into minimalism, then by all means go ahead because it's different for everyone. For some, it's about decluttering and having a simple lifestyle with minimum needs. For others, it's about wearing the same outfit every single day so that you don't have to worry about what to wear, which I'll admit will take a while some days. As for me, it's more about being intentional on the things that I bring into my life that either improves or add value while getting rid of things that is not of importance. If I were to look at it from a fashion perspective, then it's about being aware of what I choose to buy so that I do not overconsume. It's different for everyone and I would say it depends on how you want to mix and match to create a style that is consistent throughout your look. As for me, I would say my style consists of multiple different elements from tech wear, grunge, workwear, and chic. Hence, I only focus on pieces that are within these styles and it really does help me to be a more minimal person. I was very much into the whole streetwear slash hypebeast look just because I thought that it was a cool style as everyone on social media was dressing like that. You could say that I was trying to fit in. In addition to that, I was also really inspired and interested in the fashion styles of Korean idols. This resulted in me buying clothes based on individual pieces and not looking at how cohesive each piece work in my wardrobe, as I was trying to copy so many styles from so many different places. What ends up being is that I have so much clothes that don't really go well with each other. Hence, I would always be on the lookout for new clothes as I have this mentality that I have nothing to wear. And because I could not afford to buy a lot of clothes, I resulted in the easiest way which is to shop fast fashion. Thus, the cycle of buying clothes, wearing them for a while and ending up getting rid of it not too long after begins. Financially, it was as if I was throwing money down the drain because the cycle of being getting new pieces and getting rid of it were so frequent and nothing that I bought retained much value since it's all fast fashion. Therefore, it was either I passed it down to friends or donated it to charity stores. I would say I do not own 98% of clothing that I bought prior to 2016. Having a personal style allows me to focus on only pieces that matters and it made me to be more aware as to what I'm buying when it comes to clothes. New drops, collapse, and releases happen on a constant basis and I can definitely get too overwhelmed by it. In a way, this helps me to be more disciplined when it comes to picking and choosing in regards to what I'm spending my money on. Lastly, due to the fact that I now have a much more cohesive wardrobe, I'm able to come up with so much more outfits than before, although I don't own much clothes right now. I think there's this misconception out there that you need to have a lot of clothes to have a variety of different outfits. However, once you can nail down a particular style or look that you want to commit to, it's all about the finer details instead of just relying on different pieces. We can also tie all of these things together into sustainability in fashion as we can all agree that the fashion industry is really not a very environmentally friendly one. With demands for clothes being so high and the constant changes in styles and trends, the requirement for fabric and material to produce these clothes are indeed at an all-time high. There's nothing wrong in wanting to follow the latest hype or trend, but if we're talking from a minimal and sustainable point of view, 
then it is certainly something that we should not follow. Reason being, if you were to keep up with the latest trend, whatever you bought last season is now obsolete and you have to keep buying new pieces, which then feeds into over-consumerism. Again, I think this is why it's so important to have a personal style. In many ways, it helps me to keep in check on whether what I'm buying is going to be in my wardrobe for a long period of time or it's just gonna be a momentarily thing. That is all I have for today's video. Do let me know what are your thoughts on this topic are. If you have a personal style, what is it? And do you prefer to have a smaller, more cohesive wardrobe or a larger one with a lot of pieces? Let your thoughts be known down in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching it. And if you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button and be part of this channel as it does go a long way. Till then guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.